This is a book called Our House is on Fire, Greta Thunberg's call to save the planet. And she also says, you're never too small to make a difference in anything that you do. Greta is a quiet girl who led a quiet life in the city of Stockholm in Sweden. Her dog, Roxy, was her friend. All my life, she says, I've been invisible. The invisible girl in the back who doesn't say anything. And in school, she felt alone. Then one day, Greta's teacher talked to the class about the climate, about how our planet's getting warmer, about how the polar ice is melting and about how animals' lives are threatened and ours as well. That's when Greta's life changed. She read for hours and watched film after film about the warming world. Greta could think about one thing for a long, long time. She saw ice melting into the sea, disappearing. She saw mighty winds and torrential rains howling across the land. She saw coral reefs deep down in the sea, pale as ghosts, bleached by the warming waters. She saw living creatures everywhere struggling to stay alive. Greta saw floodwaters covering houses and people and animals. She saw cities swallowed under rising oceans. She saw smouldering sun scorch the earth, leaving it bone dry. She saw blazing wildfires racing through the forests. Our house is on fire! Greta became sad thinking about the climate all the time and she barely ate or spoke. Those pictures were stuck in my mind, she said. Her sad days went on for a long time and each day she was more unhappy than the next. There might not be a world to live in when she grows up. What use is school without a future? What can I do, she wondered. And then she decided to go on strike from school for the climate. And here she is with her dog making a poster. So her parents understood. She skipped school on Friday and took her poster, School Strike for Climate, to the Parliament building in Sweden where she lived to sit on strike. She hoped the lawmakers would see her. People walked past, too busy to notice. Greta was invisible there. Do you see her? Then what happened? Nothing for a while because she was at the Parliament building every Friday and even in the rain. But then the word of her strike began to spread. Little by little, other school girls and boys joined her. On Fridays, Stockholm schools were a bit empty. More people started noticing the child strikers and word spread throughout cyberspace about the Friday school strikes and children started striking everywhere. If grown-ups won't act to save the planet, children will, they said. So the quiet girl who always felt invisible was asked to speak to very important people at the United Nations climate talks in Poland and elsewhere. Greta only spoke when she thought it was necessary. You say you love children, but you're stealing their future in front of your, their eyes. We need to keep fossil fuels in the ground. The quiet girl was invited to speak to important people at the World Economic Forum in Davos in Switzerland. It was necessary to speak. I want you to act as if your house is on fire, because it is. Greta's protest, all alone, sparked a worldwide children's march. A quiet voice was joined by thousands of voices, millions of voices, and it became a huge roar. Can you hear us? Yes, we can. Look at them all with their posters. Aren't they fantastic? What will you do? Don't forget, whatever you do in any way, no one is too small to make a difference.